This is the HP AM102TX UEFI BIOS. So under main, we have system time, system date, product name, product number, system board ID, born on date, processor type, total memory, BIOS version this is F2, F.23. So if you're running an earlier or later version of the BIOS, you may see some uh, differences. We have BIOS vendors, serial number, UUID, system board CT number, factory install, operating system, primary battery, serial number not available because I don't have it installed currently. We have a system log with no data. We also have a built ID and the security of administrative password. Uh, and we have power on password, uh, trusted platform module device. We have a trusted platform module state, clear trusted platform module, Intel software guard, extensions SGX, and then restore security settings to factory default. And it does actually require some, it's not so easy to just simply reset. You do need to follow the instructions that was on the screen. Under system, under system configuration, we have language, we have Virtualization technology, fan always on, action key mode, battery remaining time. And the boot options we have post hotkey delay, CD ROM boot, USB boot, network boot, network boot protocol, legacy support, secure boot, then a UEFI boot order, and then because I have secure boot enabled with legacy boot, uh, legacy support disabled. Legacy boot order is all grayed out. And then on the last exit, we just have exit saving changes, exit discarding changes, and load setup defaults.